a woman loses value when she has two baby daddies. It's the dumbest shit I ever heard. That just means she must got some good And baby, the only thing she lost was two men that ain't. I'll never come out and say that somebody has lost value because they have children. I feel as though kids add value to people's lives. That's just me. What I would say is, it takes a special person to be a stand-in parent, and we all don't have it. I've had two step-parents in my life, and both yield different experiences. When I lived in the Caribbean, I lived with my mother and her boyfriend, and I watched my mother put up with a lot of shit. And I think the stuff that he was putting my mother through actually showed me what type of woman I would never date. At 75, what's the youngest girl you would date? Would date? Well, uh, the legally uh, 18. And that's the advantage of being old. You can date somebody that's 18 or 88. Preferably 18. Why would he come out out loud and say that? Somebody need to check this man's browsing history. Ain't no way he came out and said that. My boy, you feel comfortable dating somebody that can be your grandchild because it's legal? Why would he why would he say this out loud? So you'd go to you you would have fun with an 18 year old. I would? Yeah. Would you? I'm saying would you have fun? I hate to ask you the same question, but yes. Okay. I, I probably have a heart attack, but yeah. <laughs> so, what would you say to the people who would say, oh, that's weird, you're almost 80 and you'd still want to have fun with a girl who was that young? Well, you know, I think they would have to be selective and appropriate and be sure that they're knowledgeable of their age and yours. Yeah. Legal is legal. Yeah, that's legal speak, yes. And as long as consent is there, it's okay in your mind. I guess so. Yes. Yo, I was having this discussion with my coworkers because, you know, the video came out of Drizzy Epstein at his show talking to the little 17 year old girl. I'm not going to get into details about what we spoke about, but what I would say is just because it's legal doesn't mean it's moral. Keep your DMs and your secrets. I don't care what anybody says, y'all. I truly believe that when somebody's honest, they'll show you the proof. And I don't care how secure you are with yourself. If my partner was telling me, okay, you got to go, you got to leave. I'm not going to pack my bags and go if I know that I'm right. So I'm going to show you my phone to prove you wrong. That's the fact, fact that she didn't even show him anything. She you, got something to hide. You think I don't know what these women do? I guarantee you nine times out of ten, she's playing this dude. She's speaking facts. Last video I was talking about DMs. Y'all out here giving people y'all contact information. Now they all up on you all over Instagram, liking pictures, liking stories. You post a picture with your man. He liking your picture with your man, knowing that he plotting on you. The crazy thing is, right, she may not be physically cheating, but she pre-ordering. That's what it be. They ain't they carrying conversations with. They know they shouldn't be talking to. Pre-ordering just in case y'all break up. Because if you, if you guys are you eating each other's cinnamon buns and doing all that nasty nasty. Why can't you see each other's phones? Mm. That don't make no sense. If we're going to be married, we become one. You can look at my phone. You can have my password. Mm -hmm. So if you think something's going on between me and somebody else, I'm going to prove to you right here that it's not. Then what? Tell you. Only liars are going to get mad and worked up. You think a real person's going to pack their bags and want to bounce and leave over something they're not wrong about? Bang. True. True. That's the manipulation tactics. That's the oh baby, you're doing too much. Okay, fine. I don't. I don't got to see your phone. You want to be extra? Be extra. If you ain't gonna let me see the phone, honestly, bro, I am. I don't even go through phones no more. Cause for me, if you go looking for a dead body, you are gonna find skeletons. So I don't even look at phones no more, bro. I be chilling. The person you were dating was so cool, so fire, so attractive, but there was just one thing that turned you off. What was that thing? I'll go first. So I was talking to this boy and I decided to go drive out to him to Brooklyn so I could go see him because he already drove out to me a couple of times. So I just want to say this right here. These the new age Brooklyn kids. Any story I could tell you about me going to a young lady's house, I'm taking the bus or the train. So tell me why we're chilling in the car. It's fun. We are having a good time. We decide I'm hungry. Let's go get something to eat. I go to the store. He's like, yo, 
I, I know this spot. I eat from here all the time. This is where we should go. I'm like, all right, bet. It was Chinese food. I don't really eat Chinese food like that, but whatever. So I get into the spot. As soon as we walk no in to go look at the menu, the menu was like on the counter. A roach skirts across the counter. I'm like, yo, That's you seen no that? He said, huh? I know he's seen it, but I, I'm like, yo, he don't want to see it. He don't want to see it. So we, Nah, hold on, son. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What part of New York is she from? She complaining about roaches. Hmm, okay. Let's continue. We get back into the car. I didn't get food from there because I'm not about to be out here eating roaches. He got his food. We got to the car. We in his car. He's eating the food, right? He finishes the food, and then he takes the whole entire tray and throws it out the window. I said, oh, hell no. Not only are you eating roaches, but you're also littering? What's y'all experience? I really want to know. The person you... Wait, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She complaining about littering in New York? I ain't gonna act like we just dirty out there or nothing like that. But you know what I'm saying? It be it be piles on the street. Ain't no way you expect to go to the Chinese store and not see roaches. It is a known unknown. Mr. Chang has roaches and rats. You better be lucky he ain't cooking on them rats. This is why you got to wait till the lights turn on at the club. Now, to be honest with you, it takes some talent to do what this man just did. I stopped eating meat three years ago, but it's my birthday and you might not believe me, but this is not Oxtel. I wanted to share a sneak peek of a plant-based recipe I've been developing that is going to completely change the game. Excluding meat from dishes doesn't mean we have to lose cultural flavor. Layering spices, marinades with different textures and proteins will blow your mind. While this recipe is in an ongoing argument with my ancestors, yeah, I know what you're about to say. An ongoing argument with your ancestors. Listen, if you can make non-oxtail taste like oxtail, you're an angel. Oxtail is probably one of the greatest meals put together by our ancestors. Now we have oxtail curry goat roti, rice and peas. You can follow along and enjoy the many recipes I have to come. I do feel as though it's certain meals that should remain exclusively how it is okay i think oxtail is one of them but i haven't tasted hot oxtail that don't sound right <laughs> um that don't sound right but if she can make it taste exactly like how oxtail tastes and i will say that if she's single when y'all niggas need to go scoop her up 